I'm just at the train station at Carlisle. Uh, all told, the trains have been really good so far. It's been really, uh, really comfy. But that said, passing through the Lake District, it was bleak, really dark clouds, raining, and it's freezing. It's absolutely freezing here. So I'm really glad I packed the thermals and the waterproofs. I've got about an hour wait, um, an hour wait for the train to St. Bees. So it'll be about 10 o'clock, quarter past 10 when I get there and uh, I'll set straight off down to the uh, shoreline, pick my pebble, dip my feet and then get cracking. So here I am, just up the coast to coast. Devised by the great man himself, Alfred Wainwright. It's very windy. Here we go then. Start of the coast to coast. Very windy, very wet, blustery. Um, I'm going to go down, get the pebble, dip my toes. Let's go down and grab a pebble. I'm actually not going to do much filming for this first part because the weather's horrendous. Very windy and I don't want the phone to get wet. Battery's dying as well, so... I forgot to mention actually, for anybody interested, I'm doing this at the end of March, beginning of April. So... Early spring. Um, still very cold, very wet. But uh, it's the only time I could get off work and, you know, childcare at the same time, so... Thought, thought why not anyway I'm gonna set off head up the coast to coast path now so uh, I'll check back in when I'm at the top St. Bees Lighthouse maybe or like I said Ennerdale Bridge or Cleeta maybe Sandwith Just make out St. Bee's Lighthouse over there. I've already made my first mistake, so that's where I'm heading anyway. Heading up to St. Bee's Lighthouse and then I'll turn in towards Sandwith. Already made my first mistake. I and stupidly I've just seen some styles there. So you see that little gate at the top? I was on the wrong side of the fence. There were two paths at St. Bee's head. I took the left one which is very close to that cliff edge. I had to jump over the fence, the barbed wire fence, up at that gate at the top there, and I've just seen those styles that I could have come through. So if anybody does take a left turn, don't jump the fence like I did. It was stupid. There's some styles just there. Anyway, looks like the weather's closing in a little. There's uh, some dark clouds out to sea. Um, I'm going to head over to the lighthouse, St. Bees Lighthouse, and then make my way inland to Sandwith.
So I've just come down from the uh, St. Bees Head to this nice little cove. Beautiful. There's a little bit there. Coast to coast heads up that path up towards the lighthouse. I'm sorely tempted to go and uh, go and have a look. But you know it's, it's a bit windy. Nice clean water source for you there, look. So I've got through that gate, through that gate, and then up. It's a nice little spot for a break though. For all those saying, have you got your bus route sorted? There's no bus routes around here, lads and lasses. All walking. Ups and downs, no buses, just well spent miles. It's beautiful. Now the sun's come out. Look at it, I wish I brought my drone. That's where I've come from up there, where the, yeah, I don't know if you can see on camera, but there's a couple of people right on the edge. But I hide my way down. Cold now the sun's out, it's ridiculous. Anyway, I need to go and put some miles in now, so uh, I'll record a little bit at the lighthouse and then, uh, yeah, try and conserve some battery. So I'm just pulling up on St. B's lighthouse now. And it feels a little bit surreal actually. I've seen this place, um, it must be about a hundred times over the last few months in other people's YouTube videos. And now I'm here myself, just walking past it. I've got about a mile and a half to go before Samwith. I think it said about two and a half miles in from St. Bees. When you come past the lighthouse, you get your first view of some of the peaks in the Lake District. And at the moment, I'm seeing snow on the top. It's only a little bit. Hopefully it'll have gone in a couple of days, because that's where I'll be. So, fingers crossed that's uh, rained off. But yeah. More row, nothing but sludge. Nearly lost the shoe about four times. So the time now is quarter past three. I've been hiking all day <coughs> through sludge, fields, you name it. Across gravel, pebbles, um, Honestly, I'm halfway up Dent at the moment and I am just having a little break before I continue. Just come out the other side of the Old Dale Plantation. Um, I'm so grateful that the weather held off, you know, the rain. It's grey at the moment. Um, I think it's due to uh, rain about half past four or five o'clock <coughs> and hopefully I should be making my way into I don't know maybe not Ennerdale but along Nanny Catch Beck by then I hear, I hear it's just as steep the other side of Dent as it is coming up so gotta, gotta be careful because it's been real real sludgy um, I've had the wind in my face the whole way as well so I'm, up, look, I'm proper sweaty knackers I met two nice guys um, down at Moor Row who pointed me in the right direction because I was just about to take the path for uh, the coast to coast cycle route which would have been a 
bit of a detour. But anyway, I'll show you Dent, the rest of Dent, and then I've got to put some miles in. So it doesn't really do it justice, but that looks proper steep, especially when you've been carrying this bad boy all day. I've literally, this is the first, the first real sit down stop that I've had all day. I've had, I've had snacks in my pocket and stuff on the, on the hike. And I've just sort of nibbled and eaten as I've, as I've gone. Um, check this out though. Nothing but mud. So, hopefully that'll all dust off, dry off or wash off in the rain later. And um, fresh start tomorrow. My feet are feeling alright. There's no hot spots. Shoulders are a bit sore. Um, it's been a bit... Yeah. Well, as you'd expect, really. It's been up and down. You know, emotions and terrain. So, hopefully tomorrow will be... I know it's going to be a long day. I've got to get from Ennerdale Bridge to Borrowdale. Um, so, yeah. Up past um, Black Sail and Ennerdale Water and stuff. So, I've got that bad boy to look forward to. Um, but for today, the mission is to get down to Ennerdale Bridge... Dent's the only sort of uh, climb I've got to do today. Only big climb. And it's not even that big in comparison to the Lake District. <coughs> but you're talking to a boy from Sheffield, you know, biggest uh, biggest hill around Sheffield's Kinder Scout. So, you know, I've not had that much practice. I've put no training in for this, by the way. So all the people out there saying you can't do the coast to coast unless you're fit. Yeah, you, you've got to have a, a certain base level of fitness. But I've put no training in. I'm suffering. I'm suffering. But um, I don't think it's going to be an issue for, for the first leg anyway. Um, we'll see how, I, see how I feel. I might have just spoken too soon, actually. might wake up tomorrow just feeling horrendous and wanting to go home. But, um, yeah. Fingers crossed. Let's go and, uh, go and smash Dent, shall we? Well, Dent can go and suck some royal knackers. That was probably the steepest, steepest incline of this section. Painful. I'm going to make my way over there and down to Nanny Catch Beck. Well, I made it. That's home for the night. Time for a pint.